So this is the second part of my uh, festive three subscriber, uh, maybe three and a half subscriber if anybody is considering to subscribe, it's fine. If you don't, you don't have to. Just, you know, I uh, want people to discover some stuff from my angle about soundtrack or video games, uh, which uh, for me it's one of the most important parts of a shooter. I pretty much only play shooters, so uh, this is uh, dedicated for the soundtrack. So again, um, some honorary mentions. I presented already my five favorite. Another honorary mention is Aleste for the Super Famicom. Uh, yeah, also memorable uh, soundtrack. Uh, I think Super Famicom had much, much better synthesizing of music than uh, than Mega Drive. And uh, you see, um, Mega Drive usually I don't remember the music being really good. The melodies might be good, but the quality of music is not good. I know the quality of sound on Sonic and Sonic 2 really good uh, music and really good soundtrack. I don't know why they, w they didn't have good soundtrack. If anybody know some good uh, audio quality and music quality soundtrack on Mega Drive, they can recommend it, but um, in terms of Super Famicom, Super Alest has a really memorable uh, uh, soundtrack. I think for some weird reason, I think Alest the soundtrack really matches the, I mean, the audio landscape of the music, I mean, kind of like matches the visual aspect of, of the game. It's tough to explain, but the game has specific, um, kind of like nested, if you want to get mathematical, but it's got some nested pattern type of uh, tiling in the assembly of the of the scenery and the kind of music kind of matches it for some reason. I don't know, don't ask me why, I don't know what the fuck, but it's true. Another honorary, honorary mention is the whole series of Parodius. Uh, i just show you, for example, I I collect uh, everything that is done by this series. So this is, for example, the Super Famicom version of Shabbatine Parodius and uh, the Jujo Parodius, uh, Goku Jo, Goku Jo Parodius. Uh, and uh, yeah, great. Great uh, soundtrack, uh, ranging from classical like Strauss to uh, Japanese enka uh, music, which is uh, enka is like the I guess the folk music in Japan. You know, you can see like the seventies. You see like like all the ladies singing it, and uh, it's kind of cheesy, but you know, kind of ghetto in a way. But it's coming back in in fashion. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, all the par parodious series is really good soundtrack. I love the game, and uh, I think you know it's a self-conscious, uh, self-aware game. So, uh, so they don't take themselves seriously, but they they really well made, you know. And another honorary mention is uh, Soldier X. Uh, this is the soundtrack of it. Uh, it's a really great game. I start playing this game uh, because of the soundtrack because the soundtrack is so good. Uh, I mean, it's not a great game, but you know, it's like it's beautiful. And uh, again, game game mechanic is the problem of this game. Uh, maybe I'll explain on another day, but just trust me on that. I mean, the soundtrack is fucking amazing. Also, Euro Schmuck, Euro soundtrack. So, they're all good, you know. Um, now, the games that uh, piss me off, kind of, in terms of soundtrack, is uh, uh, Raiden Fighters Aces, which is a fi fucking... It's like three games in one, and they're all kind of, like, a little bit different than each other, and it, if you play, uh, you can play for free on Xbox Live. I mean, you can... You can get like a score attack for for free for Xbox. I don't have subscription for Xbox, but I can. I'm connected, so I can play it for free. Uh, so yeah, I mean uh, the, the soundtrack is terrible. It's like bad techno music, like horrible. I turn it down and play normal music. But the game is fucking awesome. The music suck. And another good game, but like terrible soundtrack. And uh, I mean the 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 sounds of this game are like unbearable, unbearable. The game is good, kinda. Uh, Ray Exam Ray Examber three four PC engine, but it's a uh, uh, sound sound bearable. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when when they synthesize the music, whatever. So uh, back to my top five. Then uh, number five is uh, Fast Strikers, indie shooter for uh, for the Dreamcast. Uh, yeah, also Euro shooter. Euro techno say no more. I mean, it's fucking, it's really good. Music weaves in really good in the action. So crisp, okay? It's crisp. Now, uh, next game, um, 
yeah, it's kind of like hard to find uh, uh, for the PS2. Um, it's a great shooter. It's called uh, I Ibarra. Um, and uh, it's it's a really good game, but the music is really good. Also, weaves in really good with action. I mean, uh, and uh, the thing that is weird about this game, I don't know if anybody noticed that, but it's got uh, it shares some soundtrack tracks from uh, from uh, from that uh, Dreamcast uh, game called uh, fuck. Uh, it's serious um, the helicopter game um, Under the Feet it shares some soundtrack from Under the Feet I don't know what's the connection I didn't see who made the soundtrack for it I need to check it out but if you play uh, Under the Feet and uh, you play this game, you will notice that it has some, uh, some, um, it share some soundtrack titles, uh, tracks. So, Under the Feet and this and Ibarra have almost the same soundtrack. It's the same music. It's funny, but it's fucking fantastic. It works with both games. Uh, now, number three, of course, it's Battle Gadega for the Saturn. Uh, I mean, even my wife said, I mean, she she doesn't care about video games, but I was playing that, and she uh, she was like, she was like, yeah, this soundtrack is dope. What's up with that? So, you know, it's um, it's really uh, good electronic music, and it's got also I think a range, a range uh, soundtrack and and a re regular soundtrack, and they're both really good. I mean, it's like some jungle beats and I don't know it's on point I mean everybody who played it know that the soundtrack is really amazing and it, so you see like usually good games have good soundtrack um, and then uh, number two uh, the glorious uh, Super Famicom no Axelay uh, yeah uh, I know this this game is uh, wrapped in uh, in Ireland the thing is like I bought a loose a loose uh, copy of this game and uh, and I really so I like so much this game. I'm I, I'm not into like uh, perfect boxes and perfect stuff, but I I this was not expensive to buy, so I I bought like a complete game like uh, with a box and I played the open box. Um, the soundtrack I I don't know if everybody thinks it's the best, but it's just memorable. I mean, it's got a really good soundtrack uh, that really goes with the scenery of the game. Um, like some memorable tracks, like the the underwater, underwater scene and uh, the underwater scene. I think level five is really good and uh, it's just a really good. Now the game has its own. It has some defects, I guess, but it varies between horizontal and kind of like pseudo vertical, which sometimes doesn't work really well. I mean, the game mechanic is not the best, but. It's a really good game. I mean, the soundtrack is good and the graphics are really amazing. They push the Super Famicom to the limit. Now, uh, number one, uh, wait, a couple more honorary mentions, I, I think. Games that I don't own, but I think they're really good. Uh, I played it in emulation and it's called uh, Viewpoint. It's really good. Really good. Uh, some jungle beats and uh, very, uh, I, I really like it. Uh, Viewpoint. And uh, do I remember? Other games, uh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, you got Polestar. Polestar has a uh, Polestar on the Neo Geo has amazing soundtrack. Uh, I played only again in emulation, but it's uh, it's really good, uh, memorable. Now number one, I think when I play this game, it makes me feel like I'm not really a geek when I'm playing this game. It has the best soundtrack in my opinion. It's a PC Engine game. PC Engine games CDs. You can straight up put in a CD tray and play it like uh, like the original soundtrack. So uh, so uh, yeah, the fucking game is uh, Lords of Thunder for the Japanese uh, PC Engine. Uh, it's got metal soundtrack. That is the game is uh, fucking my favorite shooter of all time. And if you are if you are some somewhat of a metal head, uh, this game is uh, is really up your alley. So uh, it's not expensive. It's almost exclu exclusive it's got like a I think a mediocre port to the uh, Sega CD but uh, this is like th this this is not that expensive game it's not and um, it's
it's gonna run out one day. It's almost ex exclusive, so it's really game to get. If you have a CD ROM, uh, it's really a memorable, memorable um, game and soundtrack. So yeah, um, uh, let me know. Um, I'm really interested to know what other people think about the soundtrack of games and which one they like and which one they like less. And you know, just let me know what you think. I love music of uh, shooters. So um, give me your opinion. I see you next time uh, on my next video. Have a good, uh, have a good day. You know.